Today we're talking about Pinot Grigio. What have we got from Italy? Uh, this is called Mezza Corona. And if you will. and it is the Corona of wines. I, I was going to say, uh, if, yes. if you were smart, <laughs> if you were smart, you'd you just drink a Corona <laughs> instead of the Mezza Corona. But we're, yep. we are on the same wavelength. Yes, mm-hmm. their vineyard looks like it's a James Bond villain's hideout. It's it in the really Alps. Does. It's super modern and everything metal and clean. Mezza Corona's um, factory. And I think that it's fair to call it a factory. Because even though they say that it's all hand harvested, um, go to that website and you look at it and you tell me, is this hand harvested? This is Italian wine made for the American palate. And it sucks. It goes very quickly from the green apple. Ah, nice. This is decent. Yeah, I think it's worth money. Flavors to this strange aluminum. It diminishes very rapidly. Yeah. I'm into this two Venice gondola steering men in striped shirts and bandanas out of five. Those guys in the back of the gondola who are singing like Figaro, Figaro, you know, like those guys. Yeah. I am going to give it one out of five Rockies or the Italian Stallion. Um, then in comparison, we got an American Pinot Grigio. From one of the biggest names in American wine. And someone we reviewed before. Francis Capulet, I think, is his name. Coppola. It says that it's Pinot Grigio on the front label. But in fact, it's um, 86% Pinot Grigio and 14% Sauvignon Blanc. This is garbage. Or as you say in Italian, garbaggio. I'm not going to rate them as lowly as you're rating them, you know. I'm not. I don't feel like they're undrinkable trash, but I do feel like ten dollars is too much to ask for either of these, which I think is what we're both Very trying sure. to say. For the Coppola, I'm gonna give it two uh, Godfather threes out of five, which actually that could even sound worse than it is, you know, because that's a bad movie. Because so I give it a zero. You give this a zero. I don't think that's fair. Alcohol. What are you getting out of this? It's alcohol. alcohol, and it's not terrible tasting. Look, alcohol. I don't think you really... Um, I challenge you to find a shittier tasting Pinot Grigio. Let's, uh, let's reconvene. We're going to go get it. So, as a gambit oh, is this of hot? sorts, we decided oh, you gotta, you, to I have, in hold on. the three wishes. It's actually only 51% Pinot Grigio and 49% Columbard. Columbard. What is Columbard? Is a grape that has traditionally been used for we, shitty uh we bowling for columbard bulk wine tasting it side by side with the cupola i would put them on par with each other it's not worse so i think i had the couple out of two right you're not wrong this is equal but i'm not giving it a zero i'll, I'll give them both a one so we're talking about pairing in these wines with shitty fucking bands. yes so so pinot pinot grease means gray it's gray yeah. They named it after the gray skin tone. So my thought was we'd name it after one. the only good, the one good Grateful so Dead it's song. it's like a touch of gray. Touch of gray. Yeah, that's what these wines and are. that's not even that good of a song. So if I was reading Grateful Dead as a band, I'd give them a zero. I will get by without <laughs> any of these. So, no great shows. so these are a touch of, touch of grease. A touch of god awful. Jerry Garcia, I'm sorry you lost that finger. I really wish you'd have lost them all. He lost a finger? Well, he's dead. So if you're a hippie chick with your hula hoop. Or a hippie hoop, man. You're coming to the grocery store with your hula hoop. Someone did today. I saw some hippie chick in our store with a hula hoop today. I don't know what store you're talking about. But if you're coming in there and you Me got either. a hula hoop under your arm or whatever. Like these wines, sure. If you don't want to do better because you don't care about quality. You will in get your by music do, do, or do, in your do. alcoholic beverages. You sure. will survive. But for those of you <laughs> Oh wow, you just CSI Miami there. With common sense. <laughs> please don't buy any of these wines. And don't listen to the Grateful Dead. And don't listen to the Grateful Dead. Or fish. This wine is like, if you want to listen to some dipshits noodle on some guitars for 20 fucking minutes, feel free. Nothing or you can happens. get some good wine. We're not even going to put an album artwork for this because fuck that. Here's some middle fingers. Yeah! Don't drink this. 
three wishes. Don't drink this. You won't oh, get by. Guess what? Don't ba, drink ba, ba, this. Ba, ba, ba. Honestly, I'd rather put a gun in my mouth and pull the trigger than listen to any jam band ever. Dig into the folk songs of the 1920s and 1930s. You're going to find some gems. You're going to be like, oh, I know this song because it was a Grateful Dead song. Wh Whoops. It wasn't a Grateful Dead song. And it turns out before they had anything to do with it, it was also a good song. Let's try to forget anything the Grateful Dead ever did because they are they ruined. They it committed all. war crimes against music. They're they the worst people. Much like these wines, it's all fucking garbage. Zero. These wines all get zero. Fuck all of it.